Pisces. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any money or love blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7 at Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Pisces, we feel like you are efforting your way into abundance as opposed to effortlessly allowing abundance to flow in. So, flow in. so that's why this is going to be your affirmation and your message from Spirit for today. Write it down in the comments. Let Spirit know that you're ready and that you've heard them, right? Abundance flows into my life effortlessly or abundance flows to me effortlessly. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. Write it down in the comments. Let spirit know. Say it out loud. Abundance flows to me effortlessly. It's meant to be effortless. Now, what we see here is that there might be some pressure on yourself. There could be pressure from your outer world conditions. Um, uh, there could be um, feeling like, you know, uh, you know, the conditions of our upbringing, right? You've got to work really hard. You have to have a degree. You have to be like this to make this or to do this, you know, a lot of conditions and none of it is true. <laughs> none of it is true. It, it would be mind blowing how many conditions most of us live our lives by and none of it is true. It's all about where our focus is, right? So that's why spirit is inviting you into the conversation of letting go of all of that beautiful soul and a time for a beginner's mindset, right? Time to look at your life from a beginner's mindset because right now there are way too many limiting beliefs holding you back from being able to establish and build and see the life that you want. And it's here for you. These cards are coming out in reverse because there needs to be an internal shift, beautiful soul. In reverse means internal in our eyes, in our world, meaning that the abundance and the beautiful new beginnings of love and passion that you desire are here for you. There just has to be an internal shift, meaning that you have to wait, change the way that you're thinking about it. And we're going to validate that here. We pulled the prosperity card and the lover's card, the beloved card. That is money and love, baby. So the reason why things are blocked right now is because there needs to be um, a reset for you to reconnect to that part of you that actually knows what you want and where you're going. Okay. So there needs to be a spirit morning implemented. Ooh, what's a spirit morning? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, okay. So I was guided into this when I was still in the stages of my journey where I thought I was being watched by evil spirits. Yeah, okay. That conditioning of horror movies, right? So I felt spirit. I felt I was being watched but I felt it was evil spirits, okay? So that's when I was guided into this. Uh, that's where I was, let's just say, right? So I didn't know anything. I didn't know spirit. I didn't know anything. This is just what I did because it felt good, and it's what led me here today. It's what changed my husband's life, my life, and, and everyone that, that tries this changes their life as well. It's going to change your life as well, okay? So what we want you to do is this. Wake up in the morning, okay? Before majority of the people around you are awake. That means set your timer or your alarm to be uh, up at a time that is... Like, for instance, my husband and I wake up at three in the morning. Now, that may sound outrageous, right? You know, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, that's when the barriers of communication are very thin because the rest of the world is majority sleeping or where we are, right? The majority of our area is mostly sleeping. See, if you can get up before the, before the people around you are up hustling and bustling, you're not in the hustle and bustle of that energy. And the energy of planet Earth is majority dense, right? It's very fear-based, right? So when you wake up in that frequency, sometimes you wake up and you're like, I just feel bad today. I feel fear today. You like wake up in your fear thoughts, right? You wake up with that feeling of in, uh, inability, right? Uh, of blocked energy, of blocked thought, right? Blocked energy, not feeling good because of just the time you're waking up, right? Everything plays a role here. It's all energy. So we're telling you wake up early as you can, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to meditate for 20 minutes, okay? You want to meditate for 20 minutes. Then you want to find a teacher that resonates with you. I particularly uh, resonate with Abraham Hicks. Um, my husband never uh, resonates with Neville Goddard. Um, at one time, it was uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer for me, right? But there's many. At one time for me, it was Dandy Panda, right? Beautiful soul. Um, there is a, a sad guru. There's so many. I mean, there's so many, right? So it's really who you connect with. Um, 
with someone that you resonate with. If you don't know, maybe try Abraham Hicks, just start, right? It's always a, a, a safe bet. Um, and you wanna listen to a short video. Abraham Hicks has so many, 10 minute videos, right? Short video and take notes. You have to take notes. You have to write it down, right? That's why we say abundance flows me effortlessly, write it down. Because when we write it down, it stays, it sticks, it's in our awareness. Oh yeah, that thing that was said before, I see, I get it, it's in my awareness, it's here, right? I'm seeing, witnessing it in my outer world. Because what we think about, what we talk about, it, 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 it becomes. So when we spend our time focusing and on learning something that is beneficial for us, our, ma- our life starts to manifest in that direction. So you meditate for 20 minutes, you listen to a teacher for 20 minutes, take some notes, right? Then at that point, you're primed and ready to do your own journaling. Maybe you jump into an automatic writing session. Maybe you write down appreciation, what you're appreciative for. Maybe you write down positive aspects of the trajectory of where you like to see your life go. Maybe you write down the qualities um, and the partnership that you are looking for. Maybe you're going to write down how much money you would like to make each month and what kind of life of work you'd like to be doing or even keep it neutral and just say, this is what I would like to do with my life. I want to help people. Even if that's what you'd say, that's all you have to say, right? Spirit will guide you into it. But that's where you would take that time to journal. So now we've hit mind. Now we've hit soul. And next is body, right? At that point, you could do a guided uh, uh, breath work, right? 10 minute guided breath work. You could do a little bit of movement, some yoga, some, 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 some dancing, whatever you care. It doesn't matter. It's, it's not relevant. It's not, it's, it's irrelevant. It's just moving the body, uh, you know, stretching, dancing, going for a walk, you know, these kinds of things. Right. And, uh, and then you've hit mind, body, and soul. You have been in your own energy without the rest of the world. So you have framed your energy in, and it's, it's called a framing technique where you are able to identify your energy apart from the others. And being a highly sensitive being means your energy is very open, meaning like, it's like you have a, it's like you've opened up your doors to the world world and saying, Hey, everybody, come on in. I'm having a party. And the whole neighborhood shows up. And some of those neighbors aren't very good house guests. And you're thinking, Oh my gosh, I feel exhausted. Um, you're, you're watching everybody at your house, ruining things. They're, you know, like scratching up the, the, the couches and throwing food at the walls. And you're just exhausted and stressed and taking on everybody's stuff. Right. And all we're saying is that when you have the spirit morning, you shut the doors and you're at peace in your own house. There's no party. There's no neighborhood party. It's just you. And you're able to determine what do I want to do today? Right? I'm not having no party. What do I want to do today? And you feel recharged and you feel full of life, you see? And that's what we want for you because that's going to be the natural transition of what happens. That's going to be the transformation that takes place or that's necessary to take place in order for that those abundance blocks to um, become unblocked. Okay. And so right now we see that it's being a little bit resisted and we're saying trust in your own knowing because your own knowing is leading you to the path of success, right? So all you have to do is again, reaffirm what your energy feels like when you are in your own energy, right? And that's that early morning practice of spirit work, right? And then you feel grounded, you will feel connected, you will feel certain, and no longer will you feel, um, feel, uh, 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 powerless or um, unable to uh, verify what your actual desires are, right? So you'll be able to set those boundaries for yourself. Now, the universe is saying, spend some time with animals. Animal energy is very pleasant for us and it helps us feel good about ourselves and good in that company because animal energy, again, is very, there's no ego with the animal, right? Animals don't have egos, right? Just us humans. So at the end of the day, being around animals, it's very uh, predictable, right? So we can be safe, feel safe around them, right? I personally feel quite safe around dogs um, and, uh, and and whatever you connect with, whichever animal species you connect with, right? And that's, that's all it's about, right? It's feeling safe, feeling secure. And that's why we also have the connect with your ancestors card coming forward because they will make you feel safe and secure. And this will be a connection you will establish as part of your spirit morning routine. See, your spirit morning will evolve and expand and and, and become customized to you, tailored to you, once you start doing it, you see. So you might not resonate with Abraham Hicks, and that's totally okay. It's just about starting it and having a blueprint to start and then allowing your own inspiration to guide you, right? So having kind of the blueprint that I'm going to meditate, I'm going to journal, and I'm going to learn something new, and I'm going to move my body a little bit, right? That's kind of, that's the basis, right? My husband and I, we wake up, we meditate, we learn something new, we go for a walk together, right? That's, that's, that's it for us, right? And that generally is uh, 3 to about 6 a.m., right? It's about a three-hour routine for us. But again, that's a long walk for us. So that doesn't necessarily have to be yours. It's just, you know, really 20 minutes is kind of the sweet spot for anything in life. 20-minute exercises, 20-minute learning, 20-minute meditation, right? 20-minute uh, intervals, right? It's it's a sweet spot because we're we're pretty connected. For We're pretty focused in for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, oh, our focus might go in different directions, right? So that's why when you find something that you focus on for longer than 20 minutes, 
you got yourself a done deal right there. So you might want to pay attention to that one too. Now your angels are coming forward with the message here of new partner. So this is a good one. They say a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. You see that safety? That came up again. What was that? The animals, right? Safety. So whoever is showing up, right? Whoever is showing up, you know, again, that's why you want to be connected to the feeling state. Because if you're not feeling comfortable with yourself and you meet somebody, you might immediately think the worst of their intentions, right? But if you're connected to who you really are, you're going to connect to their energy and be able to decipher, okay, are you here for my best intentions? Are you selling me something? Or are you here to help me grow, right? You're going to be able to determine that, right? Because it's an energy thing. But you're unable to determine that if you're uh, disconnected from your own energy. So that's why start that spirit morning practice, Pisces, and it will change your life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope the messages resonated. And if they did, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.